And this is a Huntek Pikau, which is the Maori name for a backpack. So it's just a sack, basically. Uh, made of, this one's made out of felt, which is nice and quiet. And it's connected to a harness. And the style of harness is really quite clever. This is connected to the bottom of the pack using this nylon strap. And you've got a buckle. And then they fold over the um, top of the harness here so it can fit through the strap. And this is wider material, about 50mm. And then um, to, to create this they just twist it over and then sew that and have a um, cord through the end of it. And that just goes like this and wraps around the top of the, the bag. Ta -da. You just tie a bow around it. Um, it does have these grommets that you can go through but they uh, tend to pull out and it's just easier to, just to go around it when you uh, tie it up. This is a, uh, a Russian version, a Russian army one that they used to have during the Cold War. It's a canvas type so it's obviously not as quiet as the uh, fleece. It's the same style However, uh, it's different the way it is tied at, at the top. So instead of uh, instead of a loop of cord, um, this is passed through here to form a loop, and then this passes through here, and then it ties off, and that holds on really well actually. So it's a good little pack. Is there anything wrong with it? It's a little bit small and it's also uh, a little bit noisier because it's quite strong canvas. So I went and got some, um, these are just laundry bags. This is a German army one and you can get a US one which is even bigger. <clears throat> so you've got more capacity than both those bags. And all I did was connect it to the air with some sewing. Another method you can have is to put something in the end of the bag and then put a loop around it um, such as the same as uh, tied the top of the Russian pack and then uh, it would just tie around there and you'd have this pe uh, you'd have something in here, an object, and that would stop it from sliding off and you just attach it to both ends of it and then you would connect that this onto your buckles and so forth um, or you could just go around as an entire piece of string and, uh, and maybe put some leather or something um, slide it over the top of the cord so it uh, won't dig into your shoulders when you're carrying something heavy so both sides are connected like that just I folded the, the bag over and, uh, and in between I put the nylon then back up to the buckle, did exactly what they did, folded it over and passed it through the top there and exactly the same here um, my cord I can pull it through, theirs is sewn in but it's, it's identical to theirs and, uh, and then tied up the same way at the top there and these are really cheap these bags, you can get them from any army, army surplus um, for sewing, all I have is this homemade awl and it comprises of this um, machine needle which is epoxied into the wood handle and uh, so all you basically need to do is pass it through the through whatever material you're doing pull this end through and then um, again you go through, pull this side out here a little bit so you can pass the thread through, pass the thread through and then pull this through like that and then pull it tight and for a lock stitch I just go through like this 
again pull that like that pass that through here like that it's a little bit fiddly and um, you can just pass this through again or anywhere you like just as long as it's going through and then pull and that creates a knot and if you're going to um, finish at the end just go back through your sewing that you've already done so you've got that going through there again and just go back through it again And just keep on, keep on going back through the through your own sewing. Just be careful you don't end up um, getting that twisted around there. Sometimes it can uh, cause a problem. and uh, pass it through practically anywhere you like because it's just another loop you've gone through there and then give it a pull and uh, pull it tight and you're home and hosed the nylon I've got here is um, Heavier duty, this is actually for boots sewing, but any heavy duty nylon will do, and that's that.